What's up everybody? Welcome back to Mohawk Motors. My name is Jason. I've been chipping away, getting everything done under the hood. Uh, I've got all the wiring routed, tied up, complete, ready to go. I've got my PCM mounted, complete, ready to go. Wiring is tucked away over here where I want it. I'm happy with how it looks for now, at least until I can get the car running. Okay, now if you recall all the way back, this engine, PCM, and TAC module is out of that 2004 Envoy. And all of that stuff works together for the drive-by wire engines and PCMs. If you're going to stick with drive-by wire, you need to get the TAC module and the throttle pedal also, because the throttle pedal has a throttle pedal position sensor on it. This is the throttle pedal assembly out of that Envoy. And this is the throttle pedal position sensor right here. Over here, we have the throttle pedal assembly out of the Camaro. This is the original throttle pedal assembly for the 3.8 drive-by wire V6. Now, if I'm understanding correctly, in this version of that system, this box here is both the throttle pedal position sensor as well as it kind of does the same job as the TAC module in the 04. And that won't work with my 04 PCM, etc. So I can't use this position sensor, this module, this information stuff here. What I need to figure out is how to give this little throttle pedal position sensor input to understand the correct amount of throttle travel, relay that to the TAC module, relay that and do everything it needs to do for the engine. I wish I could just bolt the Envoy pedal in, but in the Camaro, there's a bolt here, a stud here, and a bolt here that comes through the firewall to mount this, which is very different from the Envoy. The Envoy just had two 10 millimeter bolts that bolt this flat against the firewall. So I'm going to get this stuff taken apart, see what I can figure out. I, I'm willing to bet there's something similar or close enough in all of this that I can come up with a, made a way to make it work. I just need to get it taken apart and figure out what that way to make it work is. I think I have a plan. I think I know what I'm going to try to do. So I have plenty of room up there under the dash to add things if I need to. Now what I was hoping that I was going to be lucky is that this shaft, the original throttle position sensor shaft, rotates the same direction as the throttle position shaft from the Envoy. Of course it's not that simple. This shaft rotates in the opposite direction of what I need. So I can't just mount my sensor onto there and be done with it. What I think I'm going to do to make this work as this is the throttle position sensor from the Envoy. And I have the throttle shaft here from the Camaro. So it uses a flat tip, like right here, as you can see. It's kind of like a screwdriver tip. What I think I'm going to do is cut this off right here at this shoulder and weld it to the end of this shaft here. Now that's gonna require me taking it apart so I don't melt those bushings, but that's not a huge deal. And I should be able to get it pretty darn straight pretty easily. Definitely straight enough for my purposes. Now once I do that, I'll be able to use the bracket from the Envoy throttle I'll cut off this side where the throttle position sensor mounts and get that welded over here, something like that, to hold my throttle position sensor. And that should give me, that should give me a throttle input for the TAC module and then resultingly for the electric throttle body. I 
think that's straight enough for my purposes. That looks pretty darn good, I think. Boom. All right, I don't think that's going anywhere. All right, well, it's the next day or the day after. I can't remember when I stopped recording last. But I've got the pedal with my ear for the throttle position sensor put back together. When I activate the pedal, move the pedal, it really looks like it's turning true to me. So, next step is figure out how I'm going to need to mount my throttle position sensor. From what I can see here and where everything seems to line up, I think I'm going to be able to just cut this bracket off right here at the fold, at the bend, and use this flat piece to get my throttle position sensor mounted. So, I'll get that cut off now. All right, so I'm gonna keep going, do some trimming. Get this thing to fit up exactly how I want it to. And then I'll bring you guys back. All right. I think we got something there. Yeah. All right, let's get a, yeah, let's get a test. Let's see if, uh, Let's see if we get some throttle response with this setup. All right, everybody. Well, I've got everything connected and full of fluids, etc. I've got my clutch pedal depressor, or my pedal depressor holding the clutch pedal down. I'm gonna plug in this throttle pedal, start it up and see if we get some throttle response out of it. All right, here we go, fingers crossed. getting any throttle response not sure why I need to figure that out the high and low idle I'm fairly confident that it's probably flooding the engine because it's just running 60 psi fuel pressure all the time it started which is good it idles which is good kind of it kind of idles it doesn't idle great we'll figure that out this throttle body is not the Trailblazer throttle body. So it, it could be that I need to relocate uh, wires in the connector or something like that. So I'll need to double check that and make sure that I have everything wired correctly. The good news is all of my gauges seem to be reporting. I'm out of time for the evening. I'll have to get back to this when I can. Get the laptop hooked up to the OBD port and see if I can talk to the computer, see if it's registering throttle position. And then from there, I'll be able to diagnose is my throttle position sensor not reporting to the PCM and the tech module, or is my electronic throttle body not responding to the PCM and the tech module. All right, everybody, it's a couple days later again. I finally had some time to look up the pinouts for the uh, the electronic throttle body connector and as I suspected They're different between the envoy which is the harness I'm using and the throttle body that came off of that Impala so I'm hoping what I can do here is Shuffle the the pins inside the connector to where they need to be for the Impala throttle body I was able to look up the Envoy pin locations, the Impala pin locations. So hopefully, hopefully I can just shuffle the pins to where they need to be and then everything should work, I hope. Okay, I think I've got everything in the 
throttle connector shuffled around to where it needs to go. Uh, so I'm gonna start it up and see if I get some throttle now. Still no throttle. So I think, I'm not real sure. Not real sure. Do some diagnosis. Try to isolate and determine exactly where my issue is so that I can move on to the next step. Okay, well, I looked at the diagrams and the LS4 throttle body and the LM4 throttle body wiring is the same. The connector pins are the same between both. So let's hit the key and see if the LM4 throttle body moves. If this moves, then I'll know it's a throttle body issue. If this doesn't move, then I know I have a problem somewhere else. Nothing. Nothing happening. So I'm fairly confident I have an issue somewhere else. Uh, I have no idea what that could be. So, I'm gonna have to plug into the OBD port and see if I can get any information out of it that way. I'll use my cheapo scanner first, see if this will tell me anything useful. All right, well, I think I was a little ahead of myself on this wiring because I have no power to the diagnostic port, which means I have something else not right also. Which means I need to get back into this thing. Back into this harness. No, God! No, God, please, no! No! I need to figure out, make sure that my communication wire to the diagnostic port is hooked up. I'm pretty sure it is, but I need to double check that. And then I need to make sure I have power going to the diagnostic port. Which I'm also pretty sure it is, so, or I, I'm pretty sure I plugged it into the computer, so it should be. Um, I might have to take a couple steps back. In hindsight, I probably should have tested all that stuff before I did any looming. One eternity later. Well, I think it's been about a month since the last time I showed you uh, my troubleshooting on trying to figure out why this Camaro why the engine wouldn't rev up um, based on throttle input. So I've been working on it here and there, here and there. I really haven't had any long stretches of time, like an hour or two to come out and, and troubleshoot and diagnose and figure this thing out until this week. And I finally figured out why this thing wouldn't respond to throttle input. <laughs> And in hindsight, I, keep, I feel kind of foolish for not thinking of this sooner, but I didn't know and I'm learning. So let me show you what the actual problem was. Like I've said before, I'm using the LS4 intake, the LS4 throttle body, which has an eight pin uh, connector here. I pulled the codes out and I had I think I had nine or 10 throttle, throttle position sensor and throttle body codes. So I started chipping away at those codes and isolating and figuring out what things were wrong. The first thing I found that I thought was it, but wasn't was the throttle pedal position sensor needs to have just the tiniest bit of preload on it. If you have the sensor totally relaxed, then it sets codes for it being out of range. So that was the first thing I had to adjust. That was pretty easy. I just had to re-drill the two mounting holes so I could twist the, the sensor a little bit to get some, some preload on it. I fixed that, I still couldn't get any throttle input and I still had codes for the throttle body. So I decided to try the truck throttle body that was originally with this computer. That still didn't work. I remembered that I had switched the pins around, so I switched the pins around. Then I was getting closer. Uh, then 
it only had, I think I only had one or two codes left at that point. So I did more testing, did more uh, tracing out. I checked all my wiring, made sure all my wiring was good. Then I found that the throttle body that was with the engine, if you remember, this is the engine that I pulled out of the Envoy in the junkyard. Uh, I'll put a link to that video up here for you. But it said on the window, runs sometimes. Starts sometimes. Well, I think the reason it ran sometimes was because the throttle body was going bad. So I grabbed another known good throttle body that I had here, put that on, put the pins back to where they go for truck harness setup, and wouldn't you know it, it worked. The throttle moved based on throttle input. I had no throttle related codes in the computer. So in short, the problem that I had was incompatible parts. The throttle body off of the LS4 is not interchangeable with the throttle body from one of these trucks. I think the reason being is this LS4 throttle body is a, a generation four throttle body. And to my knowledge, they don't use the same or have a tack module like the generation threes do. Uh, it's a different, different driver system. Obviously, I'm using the TAC module from the Envoy, so I needed a throttle body that was compatible with that TAC, mod TAC module and that system. So, I've got my good truck throttle body sitting over here. That's where I was testing. It works now. The only problem I had left to solve was that truck throttle body uses a three-bolt mounting setup. And obviously this LS4 throttle body uses the four bolt mounting setup. It's also a smaller throttle body in general. And I was able to score a Dorman replacement LS1 intake manifold. Surprisingly, most of the places I looked were just sold out of these things or had them on back order. And I mean, luckily for me, they had them in stock on Amazon. And I was able to order this one. Today's Thursday. I ordered it on Tuesday and it just got here today. So I got to get this intake manifold put on there so I can get my three bolt throttle body put on. And then I think we'll be able to get this thing to fire up and respond to throttle input the way it should. Finally. All right, everybody. I think I've got everything hooked up. I've got the new intake manifold on, the correct throttle body, fuel out of the system or fuel in the system. Let's connect those ignition coils there. Okay, it should make noise and it should have throttle response now. Let's see. been one of the uh, one of the harder troubleshoots I've had in hindsight I shouldn't have known when you're mixing and matching components like that you got to make sure everything is compatible but now it runs and now the throttle works right now it still thinks it's in an automatic car so it won't let the engine rev up very much finally finally got it Woohoo! well team that's it for this video finally 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 have a running engine or the working throttle i still can't believe it took me so long to figure that out but it's figured out now thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i hope you learned from this and don't make the same mistakes that i did 
And until the next video, take care.